Welcome back to another video from Not Only Trout. Today we're tying up a pattern that I have grown to love. It's one that comes from a wonderful human and a wonderful fly tire named Glenn Ueda. It's the Loco Moco. In this video, I'm going to be tying a slight variant, but the principles still hold true with the fly pattern. This is going to be a weight-free version, a slow-sinking Loco Moco. On a recent carp fly fishing trip, I found that I had some carp feeding in the top two, three inches of the water column and eating off of the surface and that my weighted flies would zip right past them. So what I decided to do was tie up a loco moco and make it so it had no weight so it would sink slowly but still have that enticing wiggle that this fly is known for. Please. If you tie any of these flies or use them, make sure you use the hashtag LocomocoFly and reach out to Glenn because this is his baby and I appreciate what he's taught me over the years. In the vise, we have a barbless Tagata ML801 hook in size 6 and we are using some Semperfly 6 aught classic wax thread in fluorescent green. I've already t built the tail, and if you have questions about building the tail, uh, let's go ahead and talk. I might do another video on that one here in a moment. So let's just get a quick thread base down. Clip off our tag end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tail and set it up so that it hangs loosely right off the back end of the hook. And, t and try and keep the thread for the tail on top of the hook while we're tying it back. So you can see I have a little bit of wiggle room right here and that is by design. Bring this thread back up and fold my tail thread back so I can just lock that in place even better and trim off the edges. Now we'll work our way back towards the back of the hook. We're gonna grab some, we're gonna build a, a dubbing loop. And while I do this, uh, I'm letting you know that we are using some uh, Fly Tires Dungeon Leech dubbing in black leech. It's a black dubbing with a little bit of red flash in it. I forgot to grab my dubbing spinner out, so give me one second to grab that. Get this thread on the thread cradle and out of the way. dubbing to stick in here. Grab just a little bit more. Spin this on up. Brush the dubbing loop out a little bit. Keep this as carp nasty and buggy as we can. We gotta throw a quick half hitch in here. Help that lock into place. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this all the way from the back end of the hook right next to where that gap of for the thread is and just wrap this all the way forward and leave about 
an eye and a half to two eyes worth of space. And we're doing that so that we can tie in our hackle collar. I didn't tighten my vise up well enough. There we go. Get some of those loose fibers pulled back. And then grab a nice soft hackle that's black for this variant. And for this particular fly, I'm using some India Henback in black. Just grabbing a feather off. Preen the fibers back so you can get a nice easy tie-in point. Tie that in, double the feather back so you can have that sweep towards the back rather than poke in every which direction. And wrap this forward, preening back after each wrap so you don't trap too many fibers. And don't worry if you get into the webby stuff because it's just there to be buggy at this point. Then a nice tight collecting wrap to tie this off. And snip in close. And then build up a chartreuse hotspot head. If you've ever talked carping with me, you know that I'm a huge fan of chartreuse for carp flies. Something magical about it. And then grab your whip finish tool and throw in a quick three turn whip finish. One, two, three. And then throw in a second one. I like having these flies be as durable as I can without using any head cement or glue on them. Cut off close, preen back, and there you have it. A slow sinking black locomoco pattern. Thank you so much for tying with me. Once again, if you haven't had a chance to made the chance to subscribe to my channel, please do. It helps a lot. It builds my confidence and I appreciate it. And also, please make sure if you're using this fly to use the hashtag I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Go catch some carp. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.